Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the main alt recording action section in Regret. As you probably already know, to do anything in Reaper, we're going to have to use actions. And we can see them all. If we go up here to the actions menu, show action list, and we can see all the actions in Reaper in this window. And notice there's quite a lot of them. And over here are the keyboard shortcuts that trigger them. But if we go over here on the section, there's different contexts where each set of them will work. Besides the main one, we have the MIDI editor, event list, inline editor, and the media explorer. Separate areas for different keyboard shortcuts to work. But we also have this section over here called main alt recording. And if we choose this, we see all the same actions in this window that are in the main one. But the difference is, there's no keyboard shortcuts that go with it, at least not by default. So we could use this to completely turn off our keyboard shortcuts during recording. But to make this work, we have to turn it on in the preferences. Go to the options menu and go down here to preferences. In the section over here called keyboard multi-touch, we need to turn on use alternate keyboard section when recording. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So if we choose this, now we can go back to the actions menu under the alt recording section, and only the keyboard shortcuts in this window are going to work during recording. But like I said, it starts off with none of them assigned, which is very useful when we want to ignore our computer keyboard during recording. Let's say we're recording a live performance or a podcast, and we don't want to accidentally hit our keyboard and stop the recording. Having this on will perform that function. So if I go into record and record some guitar, I can't stop it hitting the space bar or any other keys. It won't stop. The only way we can stop it is hitting the button on the transport, the stop button. And then it will stop the recording. So again, it's very useful if you want Reaper to ignore our computer keyboard. So we don't accidentally hit it or bump into it during the performance. But it's also useful for assigning keyboard shortcuts that only work during recording. Again, we first have to turn on this option, but then we can reassign the actions in this section. For example, let's type in stop, and we can choose this action over here, stop, delete all recorded media, which is really useful if we're recording many takes, we don't want to save them all to go through them. It's a waste of space on our hard drive. So we can assign a keyboard shortcut to this, which will stop the recording, but also delete anything we recorded. So let's assign a keyboard shortcut to this. And I'm going to use the D key, which you probably know that normally, if we use the D key, it opens up dynamic split. But during recording, it's going to stop and delete the recording. Let's give it a try. Hit the D key, and it stops and undoes the recording, or deletes it so it doesn't fill up our hard drive. Do it again. Hit the D key to delete that recording. Now, if we want to save the recording, we can just assign a different keyboard shortcut for that. This one right here, stop, save, or recorded media. Let's assign this to the S key. And as you probably know, that the S key normally splits our items. But again, this keyboard shortcut is only going to work during recording. So if we type S now, it's going to split the item. 
But if we do it during recording, type S, it's going to save that recording. So very quickly, we could redo during the recording by typing the D key, record again, type the D key, but type the S key if we're happy with the recording. And we want to save it. And then it stops it and saves it with that keyboard shortcut. This is also useful for custom actions. Let's create a custom action that starts with deleting all the recorded media, new custom action, but let's add transport record right here. So this custom action is going to stop and delete all the recorded media and go into record again, saving us that extra step. Let's name it stop delete record. And here's that custom action. And let's reassign the D key to this. So now, if we hit D while we're recording, it'll undo the recording and delete all the media, but start recording again. Very useful when we're recording many times until we get the right performance. Go into record. Hit the D key if we're not happy with the performance, and it starts recording again. And just do that until we're happy with the performance. Then we can hit the S key, and it stops it and saves it. And we can do the same thing when recording takes. Let's say we want to save each take, but quickly record another one. We could choose this one to create a custom action with New custom action. And again, we'll add the transport record. But this time, it's going to save the recorded media, but go back into record to record another take of the performance. Let's name this stop next take record and save it. And give this custom action a keyboard shortcut, hitting the T key. And again, Hitting the T key normally switches our takes, but during recording, it's going to stop and save it and record another. Let's give it a shot. If we're not happy with this take, hit the D key. It does it again. If we are happy with it, hit the T key and it starts recording another take. Hit it again to record another. Then we can hit the S key, and now we have three takes. And now we can use the T key because we're stopped to switch between each take. These are just a couple of examples of what we can do with this feature using a different keyboard shortcut for recording as opposed to using them normally. So that's pretty much it. That's the main all recording action section in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.